center side. Okay, this, this is the control panel. Um, three in one temperature, time, time, and the counter. Three in one controller. First, uh, let's uh, set the temperature and the time. Uh, and we press this SD button once. T1 means temperature. Now we can press this down, up arrow to increase temperature. We could also press this down arrow to decrease temperature. Normally, we set it uh, 220 uh, degrees for submission transfer. And then press this SD button twice. The first row become um, five re reverse up arrow, and then it's the time setting. We could press this up arrow to increase time, and then we could also press this down arrow to decrease time. Okay, and then we press this button third time to finish setting. You can see this is the counter. Once the, the machine press one time, it will count one. If you want to clean it up, just press this timer button. Just the last for five seconds, it will change to zero. Okay, change to zero. Okay, the temperature timer setting finish. And this is the manual automatic switch button. If this button turns the, uh, the, the left hand, the machine becomes the manual uh, mode. Then we can press this button to press down the machine. If we turn to the middle, the machine will not work. If we turn to the right hand, the machine becomes automatic. Then uh, once the, the bottom working plate reaches the uh, right position, the machine will press down automatically. First, we have to press the, the manual tab. No, just turn to the right hand, okay? And the left hand. This is the emergency button. If you want to uh, stop the machine, some emergency thing happened, we have to press this button. Then the machine will stop work. If you want to revert the machine, we have to clockwise. So this button, the machine will rework. Okay. This is the counter as well. Once the machine press one time, it will count one time. It's double counter machine. This is the manual power switch. Okay. And this is the heating switch. You can see we have eight screens to adjust the pressure of this machine and have the, have the spray on the surface of the heating plate. This is the solid orbit slide, uh, slide, which is very strong and beautiful. And this is the aluminum bottom working plate, sponge and wool blanket. Okay, this is the material we want to print, okay. And the bottom is the, uh, you can see our support of the audio hydraulic here. The pressure is steady. We already adjusted the, uh, for the proper um, pressure degree, so just uh, keep it uh, the same um, pressure, don't change it, okay? And this machine you can see has four wheels, which can easily, easily uh, move around, okay? Now let's test the machine. First, uh, you can see this is the same sponge and the wood blanket. This uh, fabric just uh, keep the wood blanket clean. First, uh, we have to the bottom working plate. Make sure every place is very smooth. And then we display this submission paper face down to the fabric. The machine will automatically lift it up, then the printing finish. Once the, the, the printing finish, the counter will count one time. And the, view, the color is so bright. Okay, let's test the automatic mode. As we 
can see that it is a manual automatic switch. If we turn to the left hand, it becomes manual. If we turn to the middle, it will not work. Now we have tested the automatic mode. Okay, let's uh, first. Uh, it's the same. Wu blanket, sponge. First, we have to can see it's the fabric. We have this plate is on the bottom working plate. Make sure every plate is smooth. And then we have to just plate the, the fabric. <coughs> the printing printing paper to the uh, face down to the fabric. Printing now. We can down from the 30 seconds to zero. We can see the counter already count one time because uh, we just uh, press one time, so it counts once one time. Once the time finishes, the heating plate will lift it up automatically, and then the printing finishes. Thank you.